Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom, and I'm here with another card quickie to share with you today. So nothing too crazy. Hey, so I am using our set, stamp set My Nomi, Whimsical Gnomes. I'm also using um, our card mat dies and our brand new square internal scallop dies one set which is awesome. I love these gnome sets from Jada Blossom. They are so darn cute. So that's the set right there. And I went ahead and pre-colored the gnome and cut it out using my Gemini with a 0.4 border. And I'm also using a gnome from this whimsical gnome set. I'm gonna show you which one. Oops, putting it upside down, there we go. And um, this one, there we go, is also colored with Copic markers. I'm also using Doodlebug's uh, 12 by 12 inch pack of party time paper and I'm using Doodlebug's odds and ends that match the party time. So quickly I'm starting out with I'm making an, a, an A2 square card so 4.25 by 4.25 so it's 4.25 by 8.5 squared at 4.25 with my bone fold or with my Teflon bone folder and then now I'm laying down a piece of paper from that pad cut up four and an eighth inch squared and I'm using my uh, Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue to stick that down. So this is super easy and simple. Now all my Copic marker, all my Copic colors will be listed on the blog but they are B, B2, B4, B5, YG01, 03, 07, E00, E11, E21, C1, C3, C5, and C7. So there we go. So now I'm going to quickly build a frame using this awesome new die. That's the second largest. And I cut out four layers of Nina Solar White cardstock. These are just some scrap pieces that I have. Um, those whim whimsical gnomes and the gnomey sets were stamped out onto um, Nina Solar White cardstock, 80 pound. And like I said, I colored them with Copic markers and cut them out with my with my um, Gemini machine. Um, I always use uh, Ink on 3's blackout ink for when I'm doing Copic stamping. So now I'm quickly assembling this frame. So like I said, I cut out four layers and I'm gonna glue them down with my art glitter glue just because it's got a nice skinny tip. Just trying to make sure it's lined up, you know, cause you don't want anything hanging out, you know. Um, I love putting dimension on my cards with lots of layers of card stock. It's fabulous. And the frame, to be honest, like you could cut thin strips of foam tape, but why kill yourself? Like that's crazy talk. So I'm going to be layering, like I said, four of these together, and then I'll have a colored piece that I'm going to lie on top. That's blue. That is also from that 12 inch paper pack uh, from Doodlebug called Party Time. There we go. So I'll just stick those all together. And, um, Easy peasy stuff. I always lay an acrylic block on top just to let it dry for a, for a second. It, you know, it, it prevents things from warping a little bit. When things get damp, they can warp. So I'm going to stick on um, these last two layers, but I'm gonna add the, the uh, blue frame on top of the white frame first. And I'll line that up. And then I'll also stick it under my acrylic block just to let it set for a few seconds there and then we'll be in business to make a quick card. There we go. So now I'm, I've got this green parakeet paper, uh, paper from Paper Tray Ink. This is the cardstock that I cut my card base out of. And I love this color of green. It matches Doodlebug stuff perfectly. And I love like a bright, like appley green. And this is it for me. I love green parakeet. So I'm using my uh, VersaFine Claire Nocturne Ink and I'm stamping this, the sentiment Whimsical Birthday Wishes on this square die cut that I used my uh, card mat dies to cut. So super fast, I always use my Gemini, oh my goodness, I've been saying the wrong thing. Okay, listen, I use my Gemini machine to cut out all my die cuts, but when it comes to my images, I use my brother scan and cut, and I use that, I cut out each colored image, and I add a 0.4 border. I don't know why I keep saying Gemini when I meet my brother scan and cut, but you know, the Gemini's for dies, the brother scan and cut is to cut out my images. So now I'm going to add my last layers together. So I guess really there's five layers on this frame. And what I found was is that all with all of those together, that's thicker than one layer of 3M foam tape. So that was just that was an interesting thing. So um, 
there we go. I'm just going to make sure it's stuck down really well. I'll weight it down with the acrylic block for a second and let it dry. So here I am, I've come back and I'm going to assemble my card. Now that is a three by three inch piece of paper from that same paper, um, paper release. It's the 12 inch paper pack, uh, party time from Doodlebug. And I'm just gonna run a bead of glue around the edge so I can stick my frame um, that I've built up onto this piece of cardstock. And it'll just make it easier to center everything and uh, you know make a little layout on this A2 sized square card base. Now you know it costs a little bit more to mail square cards in the mail. So you wanna shove them just in a corresponding rectangle envelope and then you'll be in business. It doesn't cost any extra. There we go. So those are my two gnomes that I've pre-colored. Super cute. I'm going to add a little bit of the, my, my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky glue to the back of my big gnome, and I'm going to have the little gnome peeking out from behind because, you know, you got some gnomes. You're going to have them cute and lurking around. That's what I'm going for. You'll notice that I did use some secure white jelly roll pen just for some highlights on my images. I always use a number 10. It's my favorite. So I'm just going to weight that down there. And now I'm going to assemble my quick card. So this is super fast and easy. So I've got my little card background there. Four, point, four, and, four and an eighth on a 4.25 square inch card. That's the pattern paper on the card base. Now I'm going to add this uh, card piece with the frame. That's three inches. And I'm going to center that as good as I can do. So I'm going to line it up as hopefully in the perfect center. But you know, we're not perfect. So... We're going for as good as eyeballing it can get you. And I'm um, just going to pop that weight down for a second. Now I'm going to get my layout done for this card base. So I've got three of these acetate balloons from that odds and ends set, the party time boy odds and ends. And I'm just going to arrange these three balloons like I like them. So I'll have the green one in front and the orange and yellow in the back. And I'm going to gather up the, you know, the strings of the balloons, the little acetate pieces, and I'm going to stick a couple of glue dots on the bottom. These will be hidden because remember, whatever adhesive you use behind acetate, it's going to show. Like it really, it will show even the stuff that's made for acetate, it shows. So you're better off to try and hide your um, adhesive if you can. And that's what I do. So I'm going to hide it behind my images. I have also in the past, you know, when I've added my little embellishments on top, like little sequins, I'll put a little dab of glue behind the sequin. So the sequin can kind of hide where the acetate is being stuck down. But that's what I'm going for now. So I'm just hiding it. Now you'll see that these balloons are loose and they stick up above the top of my card base, but I'm not worried because it's going in an A2 sized envelope, which is longer so it's going to have plenty of room for those uh, balloons, no problems. There we are. So I'm adding another glue dot because it'll be hidden. And, um, you know, those are loose, but they're stuck down well. So now I've got my little sentiment that I'm going to pop up. And I'm going to use my 3M foam tape like, like usual. I tend to use 3M foam tape or my Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. There we go. So there's my roll. And because um, the frame is thicker then the 3M foam tape, I'm going to do two layers because I want this sentiment to be popped up above the frame itself. So it'll be straddling the frame and, you know, you don't want it to get, you know, um, kind of wonky in the center where it, you know, goes up and down like a little bump. So I kind of want it floating above there. So I'm going to add two layers of foam tape to either side. I had to cut one side just to make it a little thinner. And then that way it can straddle that border and not cause any, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Like it, it won't have like a little bump in the center. I know I'm picky. It drives me crazy with cards. I like my things all flat, even if I can, no little wonky bits. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm trying to make it as, as good as I can, you know, trying to figure it out and make it look good is what I'm doing. So now I'm deciding where my little gnomes are going to be sitting and that's basically where they're going and I'm going to pop those guys up with foam tape but I'm just using one layer because I don't mind that they're roughly the same um, level as the top of that frame. That's okay. So there we go. So I'm just going to 
get my foam tape all in there. And you know, I know people always say I use a lot of foam tape, but I'd rather have more foam tape than not enough because I hate it when, you know, things get bent in the mail. So there we go. I haven't had any complaints, but then I live in Canada and, you know, I swear, I think that they're trying to, you know, throw those packages off of the back of vehicles. I don't know. The Sometimes the envelopes and stuff come to us so beat up that I you wonder what they do with them. Like, I, I'm not sure what they do with them, but it can't be good whatever they're doing with them. So I try to be extra careful when I'm building my card just to make it stiff enough to, you know, get through the mail undamaged is what I'm planning, <laughs> trying to plan on. No damage. So there are my two little gnomies. And we're just going to get them down. They're also somewhat holding down those balloons that are somewhat loose in the upper left-hand corner. And I kind of like that they're a little bit loose. It gives the card a little movement when you pick it up. So now I'm going to pop up three stars. These are also from the odds and ends from Doodlebug, that uh, party time odds and ends set. They have all these little tiny embellishments in these kits and you can use them on anything. Um, you know, if you don't have these, you can certainly, Jaded Blossom has beautiful balloon dies that you can use. They also have gorgeous little stitch star dies that you can use. I just thought I would mix it up a little bit with some clip art and doodlebug images this time. But you could certainly use their dies to recreate the same card. It would look gorgeous. There we are. So now I'm using my little miniature Stampin' Up Dimensionals to stick these little uh, stars down. So I'm just going for three embellishments because, you know, the rule of three, it tends to look better for some reason. So I go for odd numbers if I can. And, um, you know, I like to make a little triangle. And then that's it. Like, how simple is that? So a super fast and easy card. You know, I didn't color today, but, you know, super fast and easy nonetheless. So now I'm going to quickly decorate the inside. And all I've done is I've taken a strip of the pattern paper that is one and a half inches wide and roughly four four point two five inches you know long or wide or however you want to say it um so it's it hangs over a little bit i've got to trim it off i must have uh cut it not measuring exactly like i should but whatever so now i'm going to add another piece of paper from that same uh, pattern paper pack from Doodlebug, that party time. And I'm just going to, you know, slice the end off at an angle using my EK Success scissors. There we go. They're the ones I tend to cut things out with, you know. There we are. And I'm just lying that down. And I'm going to pull another piece of clip art from the Doodlebug Odds and Ends set to decorate the inside of this card once I get my sentiment stamped. So I'm stamping it again in the VersaFine Onyx or VersaFine Claire Onyx ink. And on the inside, it'll say, for a friend like Gnome One Else. So whimsical birthday wishes for a friend like Gnome One Else. So super cute stuff. When you've got gnomes on your cards, you have to use some funny gnome sentiments, right? So now this is the perfect little image to go inside a card. I think this is what this doodle, these Doodlebug clip art images are perfect for you know, decorate the inside of your cards with them. They just look so cute. And it makes it look like the inside isn't like an afterthought. You know, you put a little bit of thought into it. Not too crazy, but a little bit of thought. There we go. So I'm going to trim off the overhang. And then I will be in business for a quick birthday card. So that's about it. Super fast and easy. There we go. And this has pretty much been in real time. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to stop on over at the Jada Blossom store or the Jada Blossom blog, um, you know, to see how you get can get your hands on these adorable gnome stamps. And like I said, thank you so much for stopping by and supporting my videos. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.